here with Kevin Doherty, head of Friday's led derby against some dock. Obviously, Kev, I suppose, looking back just briefly at the game against Derry there. You started off in the front foot, but conceded early, I suppose, and both their goals probably you know, carbon copies of each other, straight ball over the top. Yeah, look, again, look, and I've spoken about this at length, I'm disappointed with the goals we're conceding, but it does sound strange to say we started the game well and we were behind after three or four minutes, but, but that's the way it happened. We, we two chances before they scored, but look, we didn't capitulate, we, we conceded, and then we played decent football. We were quite unlucky with the couple of injuries that we had, but obviously Darren Markey and Mark Hughes are probably going to be out long term. Dara certainly, um, just still waiting on the, on the result of, of Sparky scan, but um, now we, we, we were right at it, and then even, as you say, in the second half, we created some decent opportunities, half opportunities, and maybe sometimes a little bit of quality let us down on the final pass or something, but it was always going to be a tough ask going up to Derry on a Monday night after playing on the Friday. Like it's, it's, it, is, it is a tough ask, but I thought we, we were okay. But as I said, the goals that we gave away, we, we were... Uh, oh no, I certainly wasn't happy with. But look, we've got to move on. As you say, loud derby on Friday. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. After being out training there, you can see the lads are buzzing, can't wait for it. Get in, good crowd, good atmosphere. Let's go again. We've, as I said, we've had some really, really excellent performances this year. Obviously, the UCD game probably being the, the highlight gold wise and, and being clinical wise and, and, the, and the chances that we, we put away. But in most of the other games, in fact, all of the other games, bar the first half against Sligo, I think we were really, really doing some really good stuff. And again, lads are learning, lads are gelling together. I think we look back at the, the Sligo game, we had three players starting the game that probably started last year. So it is a massive uh, area that we, we are working on that getting last to jail together, so, such, a, such a new squad, but I'm more than happy with them, as I said. Bar the goals we're conceding, which is obviously a big thing, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the group. Yeah, I suppose the likes of that uh, the performance against Rovers up in Tala and the second half against Sligo and back parts of it, maybe Derry on the counter and stuff like that, is just making that kind of play a bit more consistent now. Definitely, yeah, but well, that's it. And then that comes the time and come playing with more, more with each other. And we've been lucky, look, I'm sure every manager will tell you the same. We've had, obviously, Chris was out the last couple of games. He's back. He's, he's back uh, doing a little bit tonight, so we'll, we'll see how he is come Friday. But we've had injuries at, at, at times where we haven't had been able to have a consistent team, which is which is fine. That's why you have your squad. But now you can definitely see, and as, as I said, going back to the very first game, the, the Shelbourne game, look, as I said before, possession doesn't win your game. So we had 69% possession or something in the game. And, we probably should have, we certainly should have equalised, we definitely should have got something from the game. Going all the way back there, then the second game, as you say, in Tala, three days later, I thought we were excellent, absolutely excellent for most of it. Then the UCD game, we, it was a, a complete performance. Again, conceded a couple of goals that I wasn't happy with, but there was so much there, really exciting. And then, the l last week, we had a couple of uh, tough games, Sligo are, are going really, really well. It was, a it was a tough game, and then obviously Derry was a uh, tough one, like, you know. I uh, suppose, obviously, looking at the dock now on Friday, obviously, they won it, I think, three unbeaten sides still in the league. They've, I think, drew against Harps and uh, beat by Harps and drew all the other games, I suppose. We did play it in pre season, but. Ah, you know, uh, yeah, look, uh, yeah. At the time, I was delighted to, to win the Jim Malone Cup for the first time in eight years, but uh, I certainly was, was taking it as a, as a pre season game as well. The dock had a lot of new players in as well, and the more than ourselves, and it, and it was bedding down. It was good to. It was, it was a good game. It was, it was probably a. Proper competitive game. The bad thing about it was that was due to leading the Finn Harps and that was called off, so we had to uh, knock us back a little bit. But no, they're really, really, as you said, really uh, seem to be doing really, really well now under Stevie. They've, as I said, brought in a lot of new players, but you can see that sort of style that, that Stevie's implementing. They haven't conceded many goals. Um, they have a lot of clean sheets. They've, they've five draws. Like so, they're they're very hard to hard to beat. Like so, it's. Uh, Looks going to be a big, big task, but it's something that we're really, really looking forward to. I know you're obviously touching the injuries there. Obviously, we're waiting to see a Mark Hughes, but uh, obviously Dara's out for a couple of weeks now, and um, just a few others, obviously. Yeah, we have a few. I said we've been hit by a few. Dara, Dara is a, it is a bad one. Um, he fractured his metatarsal. One of his, I think, his fifth metatarsal, so he's going to have to get operated on, and we'll be out for a good, a good while. Um, the timeline could be anything from. Eight to twelve weeks, maybe with the operation. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Mark Hughes, Sparky, yeah. Again, you'd be wary of Sparky because of his, his previous knee things. But this one, he, it was a tackle on his on his knee. So again, there's a fair bit of swelling on it. He's getting treatment at the moment, but he'll get the scan done after that. Um, what else have we got? We've Chris. Obviously, Chris was 
had COVID, so he's only maybe starting to come back into the group now. Um, then obviously, we haven't seen Ryan Brennan since the first, probably, well, he played the second pre-season game against Atlone and, and was growing was Adam and he, he, he'd been getting an awful lot of treatment, he got an injection and he didn't respond well to the injection at first, but he's working really, really hard now and Dave and Fairness has, has pushed him and he's pushed him even tonight there. He's doing a good bit himself and Luke Heaney, who Luke, like Luke's so unlucky, like Luke was in a bad car crash and he's obviously a fair few knocks and bumps and bruises and, and more than that from, from that and a couple of a few few injuries that are, are causing a bit of trouble so it'll take a little bit of time with, with both of them but I'm hoping that obviously Friday will be, will be probably too soon for, for both of them but we got the two weeks off then with no game so I'm hoping by the time we come back. Um, I think that's I think that's really all with the injuries. Um, no, it, we've we've been unlucky, but look, hopefully we we'll, we'll, we'll have a full squad to pick from uh, after the international break. Bar Dara. I suppose just la lastly, there obviously you're expecting a big crowd there again on Friday, and I think it, obviously you, you said it yourself but after maybe the last year or two where it's been a lot of empty stands and stuff. Yeah. It's been great to see the support out there, and I think probably the UCN slow game is probably the loudest we've heard. Brilliant. Ah, there look, in the last couple of years. Yeah, it was great. Um, I said it after the UCD game, the supporters were unbelievable. Um, it was like, I think we were training it up and they're all singing, and then we're, they, UCD score, and they got louder and louder, and that helped us. And the Sligo game as well, like, albeit I said we were really, really poor in the first half, they kept going and kept going and got louder and louder, and look, we get a penalty. Probably if we score it, we're right back in the game. But we created loads of chances in, that in the second half. We could have scored three or four goals, and the crowd kept going and kept going. And it's it's so important that they're they're behind the the lads and like it it, it does. And I know it's an old cliche, but this whole twelfth man thing. But it really makes such a difference because it 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 can help. Obviously, I wouldn't say intimidate the opposition, but it, it certainly uh, helps our lads. And it's something that I ho hope and I know it will continue because. Even going over to them after the, the UCD game was a great feeling for myself personally. It was the first win that we had in the league and it was just brilliant. It fed off at myself, it fed off the, the group, fed off at the players, fed off. All of us did and, and said hopefully we get a good crowd. I look, loud derby and I imagine it's going to be a big crowd. So hopefully we can uh, get a good result and, and have everyone happy going into the break. Thanks, Ed. Best looking, Brody. Thanks, sir.